calculations case the fourth and the fifth are zero so we can go we can go up to the only the third are of your difference so for the uh, forward difference in the pleasure, we take the starting point as x0 is at 1 and the corresponding values which we are going to use in order to construct the polynomial and just putting them into the box. So these are the values we are going to use in our interpolation formula and these are 0 so there is no need to put them into the box. Now after this uh, we have to uh, construct the value of p. And you already know that whenever we were studying about the uh, interpolation, so there I have written down the formula where we have written down along the formula of the interpolation uh, to calculate the value of p as well. So here we already know that what is the formula. So we can use this use, it, uh, use the formula directly without giving any proof. So here take x0 is equals to 1. Okay. And x will remain as, as x is. H is the difference of any two consecutive that is equal to 2. So p can be obtained. p is equal to x minus x0 over h. So this gives you x minus 1 over 2. So this is your p. And from here we also separate the values of del y0 uh, along with y0 that is equal to 3. Del y0 is 11 del 2y0 is equals to minus 6 and del 3y0 is equals to 3. So these are the values we have to use into the interpolation formula. So after uh, all this work, the next step is to write down the interpolation formula. So here we write down the interpolation formula and you have to memorize this formula in order to solve the questions. In the formula which we had studied, uh, let me write down the formula first here. The formula is y is equals to y0 plus p times del y0 plus p into p minus 1 over 2 factorial into del 2y0 p into p minus 1 p minus 2 over 3 factorial del 3y0 and we can go up to only third difference so we can put it here and so on because all the remaining term will be getting 0. So after writing this formula now we have to put the values into this formula. So here y0 is 3 plus p which we have just calculated x minus x x minus 1 over 2 times delta y0 is 11. Similarly for the next plus 1 by 2 I can take it out. Here p is x minus 1 over 2 and inside p minus 1. So this gives you x minus 1 over 2 minus 1 into delta y0 is minus 6. The third term gives you 1 by 3 factorial gives you 1 by 6 into p which is x minus 1 over 2. p minus 1 gives you x minus 1 over 2 minus 1 and p minus 2 gives you x minus 1 over 2 minus 2 and then 3 y 0 is you can see here it is 3. So I have just placed all the values of p as well as of deltas. And now the next step is to simplify them. On simplifying, you will be getting the beautiful results. Let me share them. 3 plus 11 by 2. Inside this gives you x minus 1. From here you can see minus 6. And there are 2 in the denominators. So minus will be the output or outer sign 6 over 2 into 3 times the 2 gives you 8. And remaining is x minus 1 on taking the LCM and we get x plus 1, uh, x minus 3. So this is the output from here. And similarly from the third we get another output of on simplifying we get 1 by 16 inside x minus 1, x minus 3 and x minus 5. So this is the output so far after simplification. 
Now the next step is to split these brackets. On splitting them, we 